Thanks for checking out this video. So this is one of these videos where I've got some stuff. It came to my house. I ordered it and now I'm going to show you what it is basically. Um, and this is two of these. Uh, it's two Blu-rays and it's one t-shirt. And the Blu-rays are uh, Criterion Collection films, which actually some people may be very shocked to find out that this is my first time ever owning any Criterion films. So this is my stack, two two Criterion Blu-rays and a t-shirt, and we will go through these. But I'm kind of shocked myself because I, you know, if you watch enough of these videos, you've seen enough of my haul, haul or unboxing videos that show you that I've been buying a lot of physical media and have for quite some time. So the fact that I just realized the other day, wow, this is the first Criterion I've ever purchased, it's kind of nuts. So here we go. So the first one is not going to surprise many people um, because you know I love Giallo, and that is Brian De Palma's Dressed to Kill. I've not seen it yet. I've heard unbelievable things about this film from many, many people, and I'm very, very excited to check it out, and I'm very excited to finally own it on Criterion. Um, the thing about Criterion is, yes, it's a little more expensive, but there are certain titles that you really can't get, unless you're buying Criterion, and I couldn't really find Dress to Kill anywhere convenient, um, I ended up having to go to Criterion. Although I'm sure someone will then like put a comment down here and be like, dude, guess what? You could have got a non-Criterion Blu-ray here, and then they'll point me to it, but that's how it goes. So Dress to Kill, very excited for this one. Then I got, now, if you have not seen this, you must see this. This is film is nuts, but it is uh, so amazingly nuts. It is so enjoyable. It's funny, and it's wonderful, and it's amazingly pulled off, and looks visually outstanding all at the same time, and that is the film House. Yes, this is the Japanese 70s film called House that is basically about a house, and it's haunted in a sense, but it is so much more than that. It is wacky. It is over the top. A lot of things in it are so like left field that happen, but it is unbelievably charming and enjoyable and has so much to say. I love this film. I watched this on HBO Max two years ago, maybe at this point. I'm in a time warp. Uh, it may have been in 2020. I think it was in 2019. But at, at any rate, I've been wanting to own this film for a while. And since I was pulling the trigger and getting dressed to kill, I figured, you know what? There's Criterion House. Now I have House on Criterion. So I'm excited about that one. And then the last thing I'm going to show you, so obviously this video is not going to be super long. Um, if you don't know, I, I already showed it on another one of my haul videos. It's just like a thrown in at the end was the... Uh, Joe Bob Briggs' The Lost Drive-In, which is the Blu-ray that Darcy had put together about with, with a bunch of old clips from like Monster Vision and stuff like that that she's been restoring digitally. So I am a part of her Patreon, which, by the way, you can check it out, and there's like two tiers to it. It's like a $5 tier, I believe, and then like a 30 some dollar tier. I am doing the higher tier because I want to, you know, donate as much money as I can in a sense to preserving those clips and getting them cleaned up and out there. And obviously, I want to see them. And I've been watching a lot of them through Patreon. And they're really cool. They're really interesting. And they're very, have a wonderful nostalgic feel to them. And this Joe Bob. So, you know, they're funny. So anyway, uh, one of the Patreon uh, merchandise things you get is this t-shirt. And here it is. It just showed up. Looks really good, actually. So it, I got to get this straight. It looks legitimately like the actual um, DVD case. I'm sorry, Blu-ray case. So that is the actual design for the Blu-ray case of the uh, clips that Darcy has cleaned up for the, the what she's calling the Lost Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs. And I think that's a wonderful, wonderful design. So I'm really uh, glad to have this shirt. The shirt actually feels pretty soft. I mean, it's not like one of those super you know, thick types of shirts, which I'm glad because I hate like thick shirts just because I get hot kind of easily. My wife actually calls me the human furnace. I put off a lot of heat so, and I get hot pretty easily. So I like thinner shirts. But in addition to this being a thinner shirt, it's also very soft. So I like it. And the print looks wonderful. Hopefully this isn't one of those ones that'll kind of like after a few washes start to kind of fall apart already. You never know. But Looks good. Looks high quality. So that's it. Two Blu-rays and a shirt. 
Sorry, this isn't longer, but I'll, you know, I'll keep doing these videos as I end up getting more stuff to show you guys what I'm getting if you're interested. But thank you for checking this out. I really appreciate that. Uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like this video or any video I've ever done because that is your way to repay me and keep me motivated to keep doing these, but more importantly, do the uh, film analysis videos. My cat's trying to motivate me now by yelling at me. Actually, she's trying to motivate me to get up and give her food. That's why she's yelling in the background. But uh, yeah, thanks for checking this out. Uh, Till next time, keep it brutal.